Number 15. Silver can be separated from gold because silver dissolves in nitric acid while gold does not. Is the dissolution of silver in nitric acid an acid-base reaction or an oxidation reduction reaction? And then explain your answer. Okay. So we have this idea here that silver is going to dissolve in nitric acid, right? So that seems like a reaction to me, right? Silver is dissolving in nitric uh, acid and something is probably going to happen, right? So let's see what's going to happen. And from that, we can determine if it's an acid-base reaction or an oxidation reaction. Now, remember, an acid-base reaction basically is when you have to have an acid mixed with the base, Okay, so if you don't have an acid mixed with the base, it might not be an acid-base reaction, right? <laughs> an oxidation reaction is happening because there is a change in state. Uh, actually, nope, hold that thought. It's a change in oxidation, kind of states, but it's change in oxidation states. So... When we're talking about oxidation reduction reactions, we're usually talking about oxidation states, not the general states of solid, liquid, and gas. We're talking about oxidation states, which are charges. So first, let's just see what's going on here. Silver is dissolving in nitric acid. So silver has to be reacting with nitric acid. Silver on the periodic table is A, G, right? Plus nitric acid. We went over um, acid naming a while back, but just remember that if you have an ending or if you have an acid that ends in ic acid, these come from polyatomics. And the ending, ic acid, always comes from a polyatomic that ends in eight, okay? So you could think of it as, I ate something and it was really icky, right? So they kind of go together. So nitric acid is, is telling me that this acid came from nitrate, right? Because it had to have been A-T-E. Nitrate is a polyatomic, right? We have to memorize our polyatomics. Nitrate is NO3 with a minus one charge. Now, if it's an acid, that means that it had its H component added. Remember, an acid, so I'll put it over here, an acid has to have an acidic hydrogen, which is called a proton, right? H plus is called a proton. We'll just call it H plus for now. So if I have H plus mixing with NO3 minus to get my nitric acid, it's a plus one, it's a minus one, right? So when you crisscross them, they kind of go bye-bye. It's a one for one. So nitric acid would just be HNO3. And now this metal, right? Because silver is a metal. This metal is dissolving, which means that it's changing, right? It's reacting with the HNO3. And what's going to happen? Well, silver is a metal, right? And we know that metals have positive charges when they want to be in an ionic compound. So basically what AG is going to want to do is kick out the hydrogen and want to be bound with the negative ion. And in this case, it's the nitrate. So AG wants to hook up with NO3 minus. It doesn't want hydrogen to be in the compound anymore, right? It's greedy. It, it wants to kick out hydrogen so that silver can be with the nitrate. Now, also know that nitric acid is one of your strong acids, right? Strong acids always dissolve 100%, all right? So they break down automatically. So this is going to be existing as its ions, H plus and NO3 minus. Just know that Ag always wants to have a plus one charge, okay? 
And when they crisscross, it's a one for one again. So this would be AG, NO3. Plus, well, who's the element that's left over? It'll litty, blah, little itty bitty hydrogen, right? But when hydrogen is existing by itself, we should know that hydrogen always exists as a diatomic. It does not want to exist by itself. It fits in its neutral state. So hydrogen has to exist as H2. Now, if we just quickly balance this, right, you'll see that we have two hydrogens. So I need to put a two here, right, to balance that out. And then we have two nitrates. So that would put a two here. And then I have two silvers. So I have to put a two here. But the thing here is that if we had to identify the charges, silver all by its lonesome, there was no charge in the upper right hand corner, right? There was no like plus one here. There was no minus, well, it wouldn't be a minus, but like a plus two, right? There's no charge. So silver was a zero. But then silver on this side of the equation is with a compound. So it has to have a charge and the silver had a plus one, right? Plus one and the nitrate was a negative one. And look at the H, right? H is in a compound in HNO3, so it has to have a charge. In this case, it's a plus one. But then if we look over here, hydrogen now changes its charge, right? It's by its lonesome, and any element by itself is always a zero charge. So the elements change their charge across the yield sign. For silver, it started off as being zero, and it wound up being a plus one. Hydrogen, on the other hand, started off as being a plus one, and it went to being a zero. Any time that you have a change in your oxidation states, you have an oxidation reduction reaction. This was not a acid base reaction. This is fully an oxidation reduction reaction. In this case, the a uh, silver was going from a plus from a zero to a plus one. So that means that you lost electrons. Just trying to give you a little bit more context. The hydrogen, on the other hand, since you became more in the negative region, right? You went from a plus one to a zero, you gained electrons. That this concept we'll be getting into much later down the road in this playlist. So just hang tight, okay? But for right now, I just want you to see that there was a change in the charges between those two elements, okay? So that's why it's an oxidation reduction reaction. So that's that's all I got for you, okay? So, uh, you know, is this dissolution one or the other? It's an oxidation reduction reaction, and then explain your answer. Just talk about what we just did, about how the silver and the hydrogen change its oxidation states from the reactants to the products, okay? All right. This one was fun, guys. Let me know in the comments if this helped you. Click the subscribe button if you like. And keep studying hard, okay? I'll talk to you guys all in the next lesson. Have a great day. Bye-bye.